Hello and welcome back. So now we have all of the player movement. We can walk, we can jump. Now the next thing which we need to add is the sprint. So whenever we press the shift button, we want the player to run or you can say to sprint. In order to do that, we need to open up the player script again. And right here at the top in the player movement header, we will simply create a public float and let's name this as sprint and by default this will be equals to 3f okay now if we move down as you can see we have this player move function we can actually just copy this and paste it right here down below this jump and we need to make some changes but first of all let me tell you guys that we don't have a button okay which is set on the shift okay we don't have the sprint button right here so in order to set the sprint button right here I guess after this file 2 as you can see we have this file 3 button so actually we will change this to sprint and as you can see it is by default set to the left shift button okay and we actually want that and the positive button let's just set this to G okay save this now get back to the player move function which we paste it down below and change it name to sprint and inside the sprint we need to wrap this code inside a if condition and that if condition will be let me do this okay so that if condition will be if we press the or you can see if we hold down the shift button and the W button or you can say that if we press the up arrow button and then we hold down the shift button we want the player to just sprint okay so for that you will say input dot get button we don't want the get button down okay we want the get button because the get button is set to by holding down the button if you know just simply press it one time and then it will be activated you need to hold the shift button in order to run as you see in most of the games so if someone uh, press the sprint button and also if he is holding down the w button so the key code will be dot w okay if someone is holding those two button or if someone also press the up arrow button so keyboard dot up arrow and also we want to check if the player is on the surface okay if the Player is falling down or in the air, then we don't want that to happen. Okay, so if someone is holding on the shift button, or you can say the sprint button, and also W button, then we will make the player sprint, or you can say run in that direction, and vice versa for the up arrow button as well. So then we will do everything similar to our player move, but the only thing we will be changing is the speed okay we want it to be 3f so 3f is equals to the sprint or you can actually set this to player sprint okay in order to match this with the player speed okay so now we will multiply that by the player sprint and now if we save this and scroll up right here 
after this jump we need to call the sprint function as well okay now save it again get back to unity and if you click on the player now we have the player sprint right there so now let's test this out if we are holding down w you can notice the speed but now if we hold down the shift as you can see the speed just multiplied and then when we release the shift button as you can see he is in the walking again and if we press the shift he is now running he is walking running walking okay so in this manner you can add sprinting to your character by just simply increase the player speed okay by default the player speed will be 1.9 but when the player hold down the shift then we will call this player sprint which is 3 okay so it will increase the speed and guys you can change these values to whatever you want for example 5 or 6 or whatever you want but I will set this value is like this okay and if you are using uh, my assets okay I mean to say that if you are using the similar assets as mine okay if you are using the PBR military pack then I will suggest that you use these values as well then you will have a beautiful character controller like this one okay he can jump he can sprint and he can walk now the only thing that is missing is the animations so in the upcoming videos we will add animations to our character for that see you guys in the next video